Hey everybody, and welcome back to Deeper Than Hair TV. Today, I'm gonna to give my client a silk press. I'm gonna start by using the satin shield. Heat protectant is gonna protect her from the heat. It's gonna smooth her hair, and it's gonna bust that frizz. My client today is Ashley Blaine Featherson. You may know her best as Joelle on Dear White People. I was doing her hair the other day for the GLAAD Awards, and I was looking at her curl pattern, and I'm like, can I use you for one of my YouTube videos? And she was like, yes. And I just was so happy, like, that's my girl. First, I'm just going to separate her hair into sections and blow dry them one section at a time. I'm using a wide tooth comb to make it much easier to comb through. Now you just want to comb it out gently from ends to root so that you can blow dry it. One of the best brushes to use is the Denman 9 Row Brush. It'll help you maneuver through that natural blow dry with ease. And it's high quality so you will not melt the bristles with the heat from the dryer. You always want to make sure that you're taking your time when you're blow drying your hair or someone else's hair. The wrong moves will break the hair off and not only will you be upset about that, but your client will as well. So you don't want to do anything like that. You want to take your time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You like what I did there? <laughs> I, I had to throw that quote in there from my boy Nipsey. One of my dreams when I moved to LA was to use celebrities sometimes when I do my hair videos. People are so used to seeing celebrities with wigs and weaves and braids that they just assume that they don't have hair and they do. It's also very important to take care of the hair. A lot of people do their hair for the day or for the moment instead of for the long haul. So I think it's very important to introduce hair care because it doesn't happen often in the industry. Now, if you're blow drying your hair for a different style, like more so a natural style, then you don't have to get it super straight. But for this style, we're doing a silk press and we're doing the trim, so I'm blow drying it as straight as possible. Now, as you can see, Ashley has not have her now, as you can see, Ashley has not had her ends trim in a while. So I'm going to take my shears from her strands of hair, go on her site and get her shears. Don't be using no cheap old shears on people hair, guys. You have got to use shears with really good blades. It should just cut super seamlessly just like that. You can get these at herstrandsofhair.com. She has plenty of shears. These ones might be sold out, but she got so many pretty ones, guys. So just go check it out.
Next, I'm just going to go in with the steam iron and I'm going to feather her out. I'm pressing her hair at a temperature of 430 with the steam on. Also, just one pass. I see a lot of people taking the iron and hitting the roots a few times or they go over the root and then come back again. Like all of that is unnecessary. All you have to do is go down each piece of hair one time. That's it. It's so pretty. Yes, thank you. Good and healthy. I mean, yes. I love it. Look at her move. Mm, mm. As always, I just want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.